how to create some very intense glass effects in Affinity Photo. This is how, PC or Mac. Go to the Layers panel and select the background. Right click and go down to Duplicate. Now deselect the top layer and just go to the background layer. And then just go up here to the Personas and just go to this one, Liquify. Just click that. Once you've done that, go down here to Turbulence. Just select this one, Liquify Turbulence Tool. Then go to the brushes and set the brush size to fairly large size and also speed, set it fairly high and then just apply it very rapidly. Just hold down the mouse and create this very intense turbulent design. Then click apply. I'm gonna use the result of the turbulence in the top layer. So just go to the top layer and put that on again. Make sure you click there, then go to filters and then go down to distort and displace. Now, if you modify the strength at this point, nothing will change. What you need to do is go to load map from layers beneath. Click that and straight away you can see the effect. That's at 10 pixels. That's just shift it 10 pixels and you can put it down to minus six, 0.2 and you can increase or decrease it different directions like that and create all kinds of very distorted, turbulent, textured designs and click apply. But what you can also do is again, you go back here, deselect this one, the top layer, and go to this background again. Maybe you might like to blur it. Now you could maybe duplicate this again so you've got a backup copy, that's always a good idea. But what you can do, filters, go to blur, and use any of these blurs. Motion blurs are really effective to create some interesting designs. Radial, but I'm just gonna go Gaussian. Just blur it just subtly. And that creates a really nice glass, smooth glass effect. So just go for three or four, five pixels, click apply. So you can still see the image. Again, go back to the top layer. Make sure it's turned on so you can see it. Again, go to filters, and go down to distort, and again, displace. With that, what you can do, just go here and the strength. Again, modify it, no change. What you need to do is load map from layers. It's forgotten about the last so load map from layers beneath and now you can see the effect a much smoother and you can see it looks a beautiful glass effect very easy to change as well simply just change the setting and as you change it go back or forth and of course you can tweak the design in many many more ways and again click apply hope you found this tutorial of interest any questions please let me know in the comments below got loads and loads of other videos about affinity photo thousands of videos that you can check out about displacements as well as all the other features of Affinity Photo. Thank you much, bye.